<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for some gear testing. The main gear is installed in the Harrier already. For the Harrier landing gear, the retact mechanism fits. Just the, the leg is a bit too long, it doesn't fit. Here we got it. It can't be shortened it on this side because the spring already starts here. So we have to change this position from the wheel axle. This should be put here. Let's check the gear deflection, this is the original leg and when it is half deflected there is a load of 1.4 kilograms and the Harrier will weigh about 2.4 kilograms so we have about 1.7 on the main gear and this is with a stronger spring, this is the original spring and this is what we use now. Here we got both sizes. Next is modification of this retract. Because here we got 3 mm and there we got a 4 mm pin. We just need this part. Okay. Oops. Uh oh. This doesn't work. Hmm. It's too close on the motor. Hmm. These small ones with a 3 mm leg. Let's see what is the difference. And the bigger one. Ah, it's much more. Again with the bigger one. Let's see how it fits. Hey, okay, next problem. It's too small. works. 
that's the view from above and to to spread the load uh, from the gear into the fuselage i put um, this one up on the gear this is a carbon plate and will be bonded on the fuselage combined with some screws here we got the front wheel just uh, for putting it on the fuselage but the spring stucks and it is also too strong It's the original spring. Um, this one, this is not so strong. This will be put in now. Oops. Yeah, this feels more soft. Let's try it. So the front gear is also in there. That's a little bit quick and dirty. This is just because I want to put in now all gears to see how it works and where is the weak point. Uh, to get a feeling of this on the front gear we have we have to customize a lot of things yeah i think this 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 metal part here in there we will print from um, very stiff material maybe carbon filament to change the position of the hole for the pin because we have to work with the small retract cause of the weight and also cause of the fan and the aerodynamics in there the leg also i think has to be printed Cause this is a little bit too long. Yeah, this doesn't fit perfect. The Harrier has more this position, works more this. So the whole leg construction has to be modified. I'm really happy with it. Start looking like a Harrier. Go on step by step. The Harrier on two wheels. Just the motor struts are missing. I think I need there about 10 and a half. First gears in. Let's go to the next one. But um, before we do the test outside, I want to um, figure out some information about different gear constructions. This is a stress test for the Harrier landing gear. This is the front landing gear from our big Harrier. This is printed from AF80. This is a Aramid reinforced PLA and let's see how it works. Okay, it broke. Broke over there, just where the spring begins. There's not enough material inside, so we have to reinforce this. Next is the Harrier main landing gear. Also from the big area, at first without any load, and then we will go up with the load till about uh, four kilograms. This is made from aluminium with two wheels. Next is again area main landing gear. This is similar to the one before. This one is just printed in AF80. Now with one kilo on it. This also broke right there. There. So I did some testing with a free wing F22 from my bro Hans. Now I want to do an installation for a drop test station up there. And for this I got a return shaft and a rope. and also with my SU 
X to see different gear constructions and see how they work. So next one for the drop test is the SUX. This one has a bit more suspension, so I will um, check more drop high and let's see how it works. Okay, let's start with five centimeter. Next is 10, 10 centimeter. Now 15, 15 centimeter. Now 20. And 25. So we saw in this testing that the uh, direct um, leg construction like uh, we got on the SUX uh, has, has more suspension so it's possible to drop down from um, a higher level and without any um, damage on the airplane. So um, on the Harrier we have also this direct construction on the nose gear and let's see how it works with the main gear. There, uh, there, is, there is just a normal telescopic construction. Um, maybe this could make some problems while running over rough surface like our green outside on our little air airport. But um, this we have to figure out. Now we got some first information. I hope you learned something from this little video and if you want to support this channel you will find some links under the descriptions. Yeah, this helped me very much to do these uh, videos. Yeah. And I wish you uh, super next week and see you in the next video. Bye bye.